Howdy folks, this is Jagos, and this is going to be just mainly an update video telling you exactly what's been going on. Um, you all haven't heard from me in a few months. The reason being is the fact that um, one thing was that I was moving. The other thing was getting settled in. Number three, I basically was trying to do a lot of research and I've been very busy in my personal life with a lot of politics, activism, things like that. So you're not getting as many gaming videos as you used to. Um, the main thing is I'm currently trying to save up for a new computer. That's why I was hoping to get the new computer by the start of summer, but that didn't actually work out. I've been busy in political activism, as well as I've been playing a few games like Warframe over and over and over, as well as learning a lot of economics, a lot of reading a lot of books, doing a lot of things on the back end so I could be a more informed person. Now what does this mean for the YouTube channel is the fact that since I don't have as much time to create these complex scripts and everything, I'm not going to be doing the old videos that I used to do, which required a lot of planning, a lot of looking into the Vegas, sitting here doing those. I'm going to be doing a lot of unscripted events. Now, for my gaming audience, I want to make one video for you guys, and then I'm going to make another video for political purposes on this channel. So if you all ever think that you all don't have a place or anything like that, you can always ask, ask me questions, sit here, and uh, I may make a video for that, so that way, at least twice a week, that's what I'm planning to do to get this channel back up to speed. This means that the, the content is going to be very, very different. Sometimes there may be a connection between the two, and sometimes there just won't be. Um, if you all ever have a question about where do I get my bases and everything, I will usually have something in the underbar to sit here and prove my point, so you all can sit here and look into the research and discuss it amongst yourselves. I won't be doing as many complex videos with um, changing the pictures and everything. It's mainly going to be an overlay, possibly some music that I think you guys might be interested in to get you all in the mood or whatever, and then I'll take it from there. Um, for the most part, since I've been doing a lot of politics and everything, I'm going to be getting into the politics and the economics of gaming, which a lot of people really haven't done trying to ask and trying to figure out some of the tougher questions. And if they're presented to me in the comment section or anything like that, I will go ahead and put those in the underbar so you all can sit here and see what is going on. Um, in regards to what have I learned in the last seven or eight months, I guess you could say that I don't trust the gaming journalism media. And it has been that a lot of people are saying that it's shit, but nobody wants to sit here and try to create a better media in any way, shape, or form. Uh, Mr. B. Tong is probably one of my examples. And the reason that I bring him up is not to say that he talks negatively about Gamergate, because I've kind of come to the same conclusion for a number of reasons. I'll put that in a different video. But Mr. B. Tong did have a video about how to create better journalism as well as better academia. And I'm probably going to be trying to take that type of style of gaming criticism in order to better create and better promote better discussion, which not a lot of people are doing. For the most part, I did make a video about demagogues, and I know that it's a little bit long, but the information there has really gone unheeded. And the fact is, with someone trying to basically distract you from the actual issues that are in gaming, there's really not a lot of people um, that talk about these types of things. Now, I will recommend Black Crayon as well as Main Event. They do talk about these issues a lot. There are other channels that I go into and I'll probably put them in the underbar that are decent sources of information. But if you become more sensationalist or more of a yellow journalist, 
versus other types and I have to kind of move away from those types of deals because I just don't find much interest in that type of aspect of journalism. Yes, it exists, but if you're interested mainly in a smear campaign, if you're mainly interested in low, what I'm gonna call low-hanging fruit, and you're not interested in trying to investigate what is going on with the journalism around you, I just, I find, and I lose, quickly lose interest. I'm interested in economics. I'm interested in the politics. I'm interested in the things that have gone on and how do publishers and developers relate to each other. And those are the types of things that I'm willing to sit here and investigate and put a lot of effort into. Now, I've looked into some inter uh, interesting things with regards to EA, as well as other um, journalists, uh, other forms of journal. Uh, publishers but I kind of already talked about that um, if you want to sit here and look into the playlist go ahead and do that where I make basically make a playlist of the aspects of journalism and I'm going to be using that basically to sit here and prove more points about the journalism scene um, so you can see what journalists do and all this other stuff there's going to be a link to an imager page i'm going to use that as kind of a basis for what is going on in the gaming industry um, this is not to sit here and say that i can't make a longer dissertation it's just i've been so backed up with other things i think that it's time to sit here and begin to put things out again so I'm going to cut it off here. I'm getting to seven minutes, but the fact is, I hope that you all are going to enjoy the new content and I will see you all next time.